there have been a couple of individuals out there who have basically taken it upon themselves to really disagree with the reaction that I and many others had towards G-Man. Now, with that said, I want to make this video to explain why I feel the way I feel towards this individual and why I think his actions are rather pathetic. So, with that said, let's get on to the video at hand here. And please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below at the end of this video. So, let's do this the right way. Hello, everybody. The Quiet Atheist here. Now, I would like to start by saying that this is probably going to be the last video that I ever make about G-Man. I just don't think that he is worth talking about anymore. Because when it comes to G-Man, I don't think that he has any kind of ground to stand on in any fucking way, shape, or form. I think that his credibility has pretty much been shot due to the recent stunt that he has decided to participate in. Now, there are other individuals out there who basically disagree with the reaction that I and many others had towards this whole situation, and it's because of that fact that I felt compelled to make this video for you guys today. You see, I think that there are atheists out there who literally have real, genuine deconversion stories. I think that there are a lot of people out there who have had unfortunate journeys in their life rough experiences, negative experiences. I think that a lot of individuals out there lost family members because they were atheists. I think a lot of individuals lost their wives, lost mothers, lost everybody that they known and loved because they were atheists. So when it comes to G-Man and his little phony bullshit that he decided to pull here on YouTube, I literally became pissed off because, in all honesty, he doesn't have an honest position, period. He didn't have one from the get-go. And I'm only speaking for myself when I say this. I literally took all of this bullshit personally because, again, there are a lot of individuals out there who have had a rough life with their deconversion stories. And I think a lot of people have lost a lot of family members and a lot of loved ones, friends, so on and so forth, due to their deconversion. And I think that these are things that people unfortunately have to experience. And G-Man literally spit in the face of individuals who were literally willing to help him in any way they can. But he didn't really care about it. He didn't really care about any honest interaction with these individuals. And that's what pissed me off because these individuals were willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and help him with his alleged deconversion. And it was all a stunt from the get-go. He just wanted to push his religious agenda across the board. That's all he cared about. All he wanted was subs. All he wanted was views for his channel, and that's it. He just wanted to make a big act happen that was totally invalid. That's all he cared about. He continues to mock atheists as much as he can. He continues to twist what people say. He continues to dishonestly approach individuals. It ain't about that positive interaction. He doesn't want any part of it, and he never will want any part of it. He just wants to selfishly push his agenda across the board. If I have to think of something positive that happened out of this whole situation, I would think that individuals who were on the fence who literally saw G-Man act the way he did would literally motivate them to jump off the fence, you know. Because in all actuality, this showed how truly dishonest G-Man was and how truly inconsiderate he was about this whole situation. I don't think he really cared about any of the individuals that were affected by this. you know. Because like I said, there were individuals out there who were willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, who were willing to help him in any way, shape, or form that they could. But he literally showed how much of an ass he was and he basically spit in their fucking face for it. And it's because of things like this, it motivates me to make more videos. It motivates me to do more things, to become more involved, to combat Christianity. And combat the nonsense that individuals like G-Man spew on a daily basis. 
And that's all that I have to say about this whole issue. And like I said at the beginning of the video, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd really like to see your opinions on this issue. Please feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, wherever you guys hang out. Until next time, the Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. And most of all, thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.